Breaking news from the Matrix universe. It turns out we're all living in a computer simulation where our body heat provides power for a robot civilization. Okay. Anyway, this was discovered because of some very obvious signs. Like when this guy flew up into the sky in a crowded street. This other guy started L-ronding everyone in broad daylight. And these men in black rejects performed amazing feats, like leaping tall buildings in front of police without mind wiping them afterwards. That's impossible. And of course, this Colonel Sanders lookalike and cookie salesman have reset the whole world in front of us, like we got some sort of error prompt, but of our own existence. So now you have a choice, stay in this virtual reality or go out into the real world. Our correspondent is there now. Jim? I hate it here, can I come back in? Thanks Jim, he can't get back in. Now, now that we all know this is fake, it's time to live it up. We don't need money anymore. The robots have kindly deleted all the deadly animals from the simulation. Australia is very grateful. The robots have also enacted the Looney Tunes physics, so it's harder to die now. We've also agreed with the robots that they would give us food, but it wouldn't make us fat. I mean, this food technically isn't here. Mm. Mm. There isn't even a spoon. This just in, apparently the robots liquefy dead humans and feed them intravenously to the living humans in the simulation. Oh, it's still tasty. Mm. Let's go to the weather. What is wrong with the sky? Oh, they're being told that the robots have put an Instagram filter on the sky to make it look prettier. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Good night, everyone. <laughs>